Saw you walking by today With the sunset in your eyes I couldn't find Michael, we're here. We made it. This is the best day of my life, and I can't believe I get to marry you. There are so many times where I just catch myself thinking about you and how much you love me. I tend to cry a lot when I think about this. I cry because I can't believe how much God has blessed me with a love like yours. From the other side of Thompson Street, I felt love for a little while. Looking over the years, we have grown so much together and I cannot wait to continue to grow. We are going to do so many things together and we're going to travel the world and raise a family and grow old together and I am in love with the way you love me and things you sacrifice for our relationship and for my happiness. I do not deserve it, but it's a love I've always wanted like in the movies. Strong, jealous, passionate, and caring love. So when you catch me staring at you, just know I'm admiring you and how much I love you. God is at our center, and I couldn't be more thankful for a godly man to marry. I also cry at the thought of getting to call you my husband for the rest of my life because I'm so happy, overwhelmed with pure joy. I want you to know that I promise to sacrifice and do whatever at whatever cost to take care of you and provide for our family. I promise to love you unconditionally and until the end of my days. I promise to give you the love as 1 Corinthians 13 explains love. We are going to go through trials and tribulations, but I promise to be strong and love you through it all. I love you the way you grab my hand while I'm driving. I love the way you smile at me when I look at you and I love the way you love God and people. I love your green eyes and blonde hair and I love the long night drives listening to music. I love our spontaneous coffee dates and I just love you. Thank you for all that you do and let's get married and do life together. Michael Palladino. I can't sleep through the night. I got you. easiest yes and always will be. I promise to always choose you, to take care of you when you're sick, to be your comfort. I promise to stay by your side. I promise to always choose you through thick and thin. I promise to be still and listen to your thoughts. I promise to put God at our center. And I promise to always go to, on adventures with you and keep things spontaneous. I promise to love you with all my whole heart for my whole life. Love your bride, Maggie. As a representative of Jesus Christ before Almighty God and in the name of the Father, His Son, Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you one flesh, your now husband and wife, Michael, kiss your bride. I want to say thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. And Maggie, uh, you always be my baby girl. You always be a McClary. <laughs> Michael, welcome to the family. You guys got a bright future ahead of you. I love you. Just imagine what I love could be. You belong.
I am so lucky to have a best friend who is so loyal, loving, and generous. She always puts everyone else first. She loves so much and expects little in return. I am so blessed to know her and be here with her today. When he was first born, my parents brought him home and he cried all the time. I looked at my mom and I said, can you put him back? Looking back, I'm glad she didn't. He grew up to be a great brother and he's even a better man. Love you, Michael. Here's to many years, love, happiness, and cheers. relationship with Michael, I've watched Maggie grow into an even more beautiful, confident, and strong young woman. After all the hours of watching romantic comedies together, we would have never predicted that this would be your love story. Unlike those movies, your love story will last more than an hour and a half. It will last a lifetime. This is the ending that God had in mind for you. And I'm so happy that you found such a great co-star in Michael for your happy ending. Come on.